Hi! Thank you for visiting my channel and playing this video. Our topic today is all about the forecast for rabbit, dragon, and snake for 2021. But before we start, please watch this clip. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, or like this video. Now back to our video. Welcome back. All right, before we dive into our topic, I'd like to give you, I'd like to invite you to my Facebook group. It's in the screen. It, I give more information on top of the free videos I have here on YouTube. I add more information in this group. And in addition to that, I give free monthly activations you can use, especially in this trying time. And of course, I have a webinar happening in January 10 and January 17. And this webinar will serve as a guide on what action you should focus on for 2021 and consider as your key steps to make your 2020, 2021 a thriving year. If you're interested to join, please click the link below and sign up. All right, now going to our main topic, a forecast for rabbit, dragon, and snake. Now, before we dive into our forecast, I'd like to remind you, you not only have one, you have four animals. This is based on your own Bazin natal chart. Now, to be able to plot your chart, please click the link below. Uh, to bring you to the uh, Bali calculator and here's the image of the natal chart. As you can see in the image, we have four. Now, the year represents your friends, your relatives, and your colleagues. The month represents your finances and your career. Your day represents you and your spouse and your home. And the hour represents your health, your investment, your children, and your subordinates. And for the rabbit, here are the stars we have for 2021. Calamity Sha, Funeral Door, Earth Funeral, and Peeling Head. Now, unfortunately, there is no auspicious star for, uh, for the rabbit this uh, 2021. But again, planning ahead is one way to help you mitigate the negative stars. And at the same time, controlling the stars by planning ahead and knowing what are the key steps that you should actually avoid come 2021. All right, for calamity Sha, what does this mean? This actually means that there is a, a tendency for you to actually be caught or be stranded in an area where calamity may strike. Okay, so before traveling come 2021, make sure you, you uh, do some uh, weather forecasts before you travel. Or better yet, not to travel at all for 2021. Next is the funeral door and earth funeral. This actually means... As well as peeling head, uh, this actually means that there is someone in your uh, close relative or close family member that may will experience illness issues come 2021. And if you're not able to actually address uh, the, the illness issue uh, come 2021, there can be a tendency, this actually for the peeling head, there's a tendency that there will be some death that we may experience from 2021. However, if you're able to be proactive in checking up on the, the health of your family members, this can definitely be avoided. All right. And for the dragon, here are the stars for 2021. We have Moonstar, Hook Spirit, and Rate Assembly. Now, what do they mean? For the Moonstar, this is actually a nobleman star uh, wherein you'll be given guidance and aid and support coming specifically from women. So if you're currently uh, looking for support and aid for 2021, it's best to look for the women that are close to you, that are around you, because it's the women that will actually help you out for 2021. And the next star is the hoax spirit. This actually can cause uh, miscommunication or, and because of miscommunication, this can actually bring in arguments within your uh, constituents, your colleagues. So it's best to, uh, before if it, you encounter any arguments within 2021, my strongest advice is to control and uh, yes, to control and mitigate this by communicating with compassion and patience, okay? Uh, letting this lie, the, mis the, the miscommunication or the disagreement can cause or can bring an, or can tra actually turn it into a bigger issue if you're not able to address it the soonest. So best that you actually pay attention 
if ever you feel like everybody's there is issue with miscommunication address it nip it in the bud the soonest possible time all right next is great assembly this is actually a small accidents minor accidents uh this is uh misadventures if i may say and this can be from bumping your knee to a chair or to a paper cut or into something bigger we're in a vehicle accident so uh what should we do for 2021 be very careful make sure that you do not drink and drive don't drive when you're too tired or uh, just be mindful of your own surroundings to avoid uh, misadventures along the way now for the snake here are the stars we have for 2021 there's three stages natural treasure back poking uh fire ghost healing officer and sky cry now what do they mean now for the three stages and the natural treasure there is opportunity for you to expand your business or your career uh this can be in a form of a promotion or expansion if you're in business all right so uh for the national treasure th this is a year wherein all your hard work will be noticed by your superiors or by your supervisors so if for the past year you haven't been working as hard then you cannot expect that to happen within this year all right next for back poking uh, this can actually mean betrayal within your cir circle so do be be, uh, be very mindful of the people you're surrounding yourself with. Make sure that you're, you're surrounded with people that are good, with well intentions to avoid this from further happening. Next is five ghosts. This is where you would feel more emotional. And uh, when you actually feel emotional, I would strongly urge for you to avoid making decisions whenever you're actually feeling emotional. Because whenever we make decision out of uh, being frustrated or because of we're being or anxious, uh, more often than not, the effect of that decision is something that we regret. Okay, so if ever you're feeling this way, the reason why it has to be enunciated is to make sure to guide you that not to let the emotion get the best of you. All right. Next is the heavenly officer. Uh, this can be a, a, a situation where you might be able to offend others unintentionally uh, because of probably too much when you're feeling too emotional, you end up becoming too honest and no longer practice diplomacy and this is what's going to happen. So uh, my advice in addition to helping you step away from your emotion and look at it from a distant, distant per perspective is you also have to be mindful of the words that you say and the actions you say. You do not want to add more problems to your life uh, unintentionally, so it's best to be mindful and practice diplomacy at all times. All right? Next is the sky cry. This is also in addition to the five ghosts. A uh, sky cry is with a situation wherein you would feel like you feel like uh, more depressive or you feel like crying. Even the mo smallest issue, you feel like you feel more emotional about it. So, uh, how do you actually handle that? My advice is to continuously communicate. To continuously to uh, communicate rather with your uh, friends or your cl close confidant to allow you to uh, express your thoughts and your worries. And by that, you'll be able to get good advice from your closest confidant or your friends. And, it, and because of them, you'll be able to have more clarity on the steps or the feelings that you may have and look at it and help you look at it in a distant perspective. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!